Hi, my name's Joe. I'm your friendly neighborhood scrap guy. Today I'm going to show you a few of the computer parts that I have that I recycle. Show you what I sell to the scrap yard and what I sell on eBay and why. Let's get started. Okay, we have a few different things here that I want to show you. These are motherboards. Anybody who uh, knows anything about computers knows what this is. You have to take it out of the computer completely and then remove a few things from it. First off, you want to take off the processor, which usually fits into about right here because the processors are very valuable. You also want to remove the RAM. Now the RAM is a stick. It looks like this and they fit into these little slots here. Take those out, those are valuable too. Uh, sometimes in older computers you'll find this kind of RAM. It is silver. Not as valuable, but look at the edge right there. I have to apologize for this camera, it's not a very good one. Uh, but at the edge right here, you see there is silver, whereas on a gold one, there is gold. Okay. Now these uh, motherboards come in two different types. You have the green front, green back. I get about three twenty, three thirty a pound for these right now, but the price, of course, varies by you know what time of year it is and demand. Uh, but you also have these. Now these are the cheaper version made in China and they're not worth but about 60 cent a pound. Uh, and the easiest way to tell the difference is the color. These are green, these are everything else. Uh, they come in purple, blue, red, brown, and the same story. They're all made in China, they're all dirt cheap. Okay. One other thing you gotta know when you recycle a motherboard is to remove the battery. You cannot leave the battery in because they will not take them. They'll, they'll give them right back to you. Okay. And just collect them and toss them into a bucket. And when you get enough of them, you get them to your recycling center. Now there's a few other things that get mixed in with the motherboards because they're the same grade of boards. Uh, the first is the expansion slot uh, cards. You know this one here is a network card. It's uh, for dial-up internet. Wow. I didn't know they still made those. Um, this one here is a video card of some type or another. I don't know. Looks like uh, looks like the the fan has uh, been taken out of this one. It's it's crap. It's no good. Toss it in with your mother. Uh, these are the other type of boards that you can mix in with the motherboards. They come from CD drives and DVD drives on your computer. Uh, remove the case that. Uh, holds these boards and then take them apart take the boards out. It's worth it. It really is. It makes it into your motherboards. Uh, here's a bigger one. Makes it into your motherboards. Okay. Now, the same case with these cheap ones. I get about 60 cent a pound for these. It's, it's, it's still worth it. It really is, but uh, you don't get nearly as much. And then here's some of the made in China expansion cards that you gotta keep these together. You have to separate this stuff or they won't take it. And they don't like you separating it there at the scrap yard so make sure you do it before you go and just save them all when you have enough take them with you okay a few other things hard drives these hard drives came out of desktop computers you can get them in out of laptops also but they're much smaller about this big um, and what you do is you take it out and remove the circuit board from it uh, these are the circuit boards like this one I don't think came off one of these drives but but it could have, it could have. Um, and the way you see it is they're like that. They go in just like that. And they look something like that before you take them apart. Pop the board off, set the board aside. And these hard drives I think are like 47 pound right now. Um, and again, just set them aside. Collect them in a bucket or a pail or something. And when you have enough, take them with you. These are the boards that came off the hard drives. I have a couple of ones to show you here. This one got beat all to hell when I took it off. It just, but it's still valuable and they pay the same price for it. Uh, this one here is in good shape. That's the one I just showed you. 
uh, you have this side which is the actual data connection and then you have the power connection there and then you have this one here which actually came off of a laptop hard drive and it's a uh, it's pretty cool too it's it goes in the same goes in the same bucket okay now I found this in a in a um, satellite box and it's got gold on it and you can sell this on eBay when you get you know a few of them uh, the same thing with the with the hard drive boards you sell those on eBay um, then I have some gold some uh, silver RAM here just like I showed you earlier uh, silver RAM I honestly don't remember what it sells for it's probably under a dollar though and again that's if you take the scrap yard I sell these on eBay and uh, got a few other things here I also wanted to show you uh, these power supplies I got here uh, they come in all shapes and sizes this is just a standard one here I cut the wires off because the wires are a lot more valuable than the rest of it um, this is uh, an odd shaped one it came out of a computer that's uh, pretty rare it folds together kind of like the Dells do um, and this is the inside of one I just wanted to show you there's a cheap circuit board and there's some copper coils and stuff there but um, all in all I think I get paid like 20 or 30 cent a pound for these there and you don't have to take the case off in fact I would recommend you don't you sell them just like this um, now we also have a few other things these are some processors I, that I have laying around here today um, but they come in all shapes and sizes too you know these are just plastic uh, fabric CPUs uh, processors these are steel back processors here's a combination plastic steel back um, this one actually came out of a uh, PlayStation and uh, they don't really come off very easily you gotta pop them off uh, the rest of them you just uh, like this one here you just lift the lever and it comes right out um, now these here are slot processors same thing as these just bigger and uh, these here I think are like five dollars a pound or something if you take them into the scrap yard you know, probably closer to seven if you have a commercial uh, if you have a commercial account with a scrap yard which I do you know but you gotta take every it's not really how much you take them when you go it's how much you take them on each trip see if I just take this amount of stuff in this isn't commercial uh, this is not a commercial amount but if I save it up and save it up and save it up and I go once a year and I take a crap load of them all at once that's a commercial amount they like that uh, so do that if you can but I don't sell these processors to the scrapyard anymore because I found I can actually make more off of them if I sell them on eBay so that's what I do now um, these are uh, sticks of RAM the gold ones that I showed you earlier and uh, you need to save all this okay now these are kind of unique you don't come across them too often look at all the gold on this one that's crazy right uh, these came out of cell phones um, this was just a little tiny board not very much uh, in size or weight but you know it equals out you add that one to that one and it averages pretty good this one's okay it's a cheaper version but it's all right now this one you would think came out of a, a phone and it did but not a cell phone it came out of a um out of a little wireless handset you know the kind that you have at your house and uh it's pretty worthless <laughs> these uh kind of boards you get about 10 cent a pound for if you take them to the scrap yard that recycles them and they go in the same category as like boards that come out of tvs and radios and, and other worthless junk um still save it it's worth it i mean if you get enough of it go ahead and save it don't throw it away in fact don't throw anything away that's my motto um, these are the the uh, cables that came out of the computer I don't really know the name of them IDME or something like that I don't know uh, but anyway they're um, they're what you call low-grade number two insulated and they are about 20 cent a pound not 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 very much um, other uh, wire 
is worth more like extension cords or um, you know you cut the cord off your the back of your TV and it's a uh, it's worth a lot more, like $1.20 a pound or something. Uh, these are the same thing as the TV cords and extension cords. This also came out of a computer. It's got it's got that little connection there. And uh, you put these with your other cords, like your power cords and extension cords and stuff, and uh, you save those. Those are definitely valuable. Um, these are the uh, fan motors that came out of the computers. Um, they, of course, come in all shapes and sizes. This one came out of a laptop, I think, and this one came out of a desktop as well as this one and this one. But uh, it's hard to find a scrapyard that'll buy these like they are um, as electric motors. And you know, electric motors are 25 cent a pound at my scrapyard. Uh, but most scrapyards won't take them like this. I'm lucky, mine does. They buy them as electric motors and I can get 25 cent a pound for these. Um, and uh, if you cannot find a scrapyard that will buy them as electric motor, most of them will buy them as tin or steel, uh, just regular crap metal. Um, and that's 10 cent a pound right now, I think. Um, I think that's all I have to show you today. Um, yeah, I think that's all I had. Well, there's my most important valuable thing, my coffee. Uh, you got to have that, especially in this line of work, because you got to get up early to get the good stuff. Um, that's all I have to show for you, to show you today. Again, my name is Joe, and if you have any requests or any questions about this stuff, please feel free to send me a, a message, send me a email uh, leave a question in the comment section I'll be happy to answer it um, and uh, if you would like me to make a video on how to disassemble any item um, I'd be happy to do that because I do take a lot of stuff apart and I do like to make money doing it if you'd like to make money and have any questions please ask and uh, goodbye for now